But the one that will gladden the heart of our viewers, most especially those of us who are having issues with sickle cell, is the discovery made by scientists that ugu, your ugu, which you eat every day, has now been discovered to be able to actually affect a lot of palliative and curative uh, characteristics in sickle cell anemia. I think that should be celebrated. I don't know what you call Ugu in your language. But Yoruba, too, Yoruba call it Eweroko. Uh, Igbo call it Aworoko. I don't know if I didn't pronounce it well. Please, my Igbo brothers and sisters, I hope I will not be prosecuted. And um, the um, Efik call it Ikong or Umi and the Ibibio. Then the Edos, they call it Umeke. I don't know what they call it in Aosa language. So my Arewa brothers and sisters, I hope you will forgive me for that. And um, so I know many of us, when we see Ugu, many of us will say, yes, what's the big deal? Yes, when someone is having issues with anemia, when you are short of blood, the practice is for so many of us to pluck Ugu, squeeze out the chlorophyll, and then we mix it with milk. Some people said, yes, it's better to mix it with maltina or whatever uh, malt drink you want to mix it with. And then when you look at it and you take it, then it can be able to ameliorate the situation. Yes, I have done it several too, and I found it to be uh, very, very effective. But now, scientists are now saying that, indeed, it's not only that you just eat ugu with your egusi soup only. You know, because most of us, we cherish it a lot, especially our ugu brothers. They know how to really fix ugu with whether egusi, even in Ogbono soup, they do put it. But it's very, very medicinal. So it more, it's more than that. Because it has an array of vitamins, which has made it to be very, very effective. For example, it has potassium, it has copper, it has iron, it has manganese, and it has amino acid. Can you believe that? In moderate sources. It also has a zinc and a magnesium, which are essential in human and animal nutrition. Animals that eat sugu, you see that they will be very, very fresh because of all these components. But apart from that, scientists are now saying that. Anyway, sorry I didn't give you the botanical name. The botanical name is called Telfaria occidentalis. That is the botanical name. Telfaria occidentalis. That is the botanical name for ugu. I am sure we are not even interested in that. We are interested in what it can do. Yes, scientists, researchers said that flumpted popkin, that's what they call it in English, flumpted Fluted, fluted popkin. Maybe they gave it that name because of the fact that when you see ugu, you see some fruits with it that looks like a ball or something. That's why they call it fluted pumpkins, you know. So, higher in inhibitory and reversal anticycline activities than cyclavit. Many of us we are familiar with cyclavit, especially those of us who have cyclas at home. We use Ciclavit for them. I don't want to mention the name of the company that produces Ciclavit, but you know it. But they are saying that this is even better than Ciclavit. So that is why we always say that. Them they know this, but they will just keep it there. For in now ahead, when we have stuffs like this, imagine how many people are growing ugu in this country. And I'm very sure very soon they will start telling you, uh, "Oh yeah, export your ugu to US or UK, and you'll be giving more." And when you export it for us. I want to discover, I want to shit. Especially on Abba Mercy. Abba Mercy is the future of any country. That is why you see people going. Look at this, very fresh. You don't, you don't need to add vitalizer to it. You know, we have it in this country. This one is so heavy, very cold. You see it in the market, you know. How much do you... This one I'm showing you, I bought it 100 naira.
How much do you buy your C clap? When we have things, money on other things. Now, hear this. Apart from that, uh, they say that according to the researchers, amino acid, ion, and vitamin C has been implicated for anticycline activities. And this, together with the antioxidant content, fronted for might be responsible for high anticycline property. So, meaning that even if you use this thing for a very long time, Apart from the fact that it can banish the um, crisis, it could even bring about a reversal in the situation, which we have been saying on this program. Many people don't still believe, as you don't believe, that Abba medicine can take care of HIV AIDS. Abba medicine can take care of hepatitis. Many of us still don't believe. We still believe that, no, until we use Oyibo medicine, that is what man does not put hand, will not work. I, I'm just imagining if I was a white man, I don't know where I would have been now. Maybe I would have been a demigod, you know. But then, this is our own, this is our own country. The philosophy of this present government is that we must encourage the positivity in our economy, the positivity in our coexistence. You know, all those things that are coming out in this country, we want to evaluate it. Those ones that are good, let's promote it, let's package it so that it can enhance our foreign exchange. So, and I'm sure that uh, Sekou Cell Society of Nigeria will be interested in this discovery. So, but those of you at home, Ugu is everywhere. So, all you need to do is if you can squeeze the water and be giving to uh, your words, uh, maybe if they are cyclones or whatever, I think it will go a long way to really solve the uh, problem. I don't want to go into other uh, technicalities that the scientists, uh, the scientists have discovered, but I'm very, very sure those of you at home, who are watching this program will be able to agree that indeed this is a this is Ureka. I will call it Ureka because it's a very big research. Because itato, what we know Ugu for is squeeze it, mix it with milk when someone is anemic or when one when is tired. But then it is not good. We can use it for people who are actually down with sickle cell or who suffer from crisis. But that does not prevent those of you who like to use it to eat your pounded yam and uh, gari. That does not stop you. It will still give you the usual iron which you are craving for when you eat it.